Hello everyone, I'm Liz from French Toast and Books, and today I will be doing my December wrap-up and January TBR. So in the month of December, I finished a total of six books because I did not manage to finish Frankenstein. So in doing so, the very first book I read in December was The Body Institute, by Carol Riggs. And this book is about a girl named Morgan who gets a job working for the Body Institute. And the Body Institute is a government regulated corporation that puts um, an athletic driven person's mind into an obese person's body in order for that person to lose weight. Now, the Body Institute is kind of a very secretive organization and Morgan finds out how secretive it is and how much it's kind of lying to not only its employees but also the people spending money to lose weight. And so she's trying to debunk all of these stigmas and um, secrets and issues with this corporation as she's uncovering them that she finds out that this organization is bad and needs to try to put a stop to it. This book is so quick paced that by the end it was almost too quick. It wraps up the story in about 20 pages and that was way too fast for me. I needed a little bit more of a longer depth but then also the epilogue kind of brought it back to what I liked so much about the book and how it ties everything together and shows you that in order to change the government and also societal views that you can't just have one person do it. It has to be kind of a cumulative mass agreement and though you can put a stop to the corruption you need to do a lot more to change society as a whole and that this book ends with just that note a perfect little conclusion that I just I loved it so much I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The next books I read were Bound by Spells and Bound by Prophecy by Stormy Smith. So I concluded this trilogy and I have some mixed reviews. Bound by Spells, I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars, but Bound by Prophecy, I only gave a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I just, something kind of irked me and didn't sit well with me during the third book that I didn't enjoy it nearly as much as the first and second. Um, I think it could have been due to Amelia's impulsive, I'll do what I want and not listen to anybody. Or it could have been Aiden's kind of possessiveness. I'm not sure. But there was definitely something that irked me. I definitely love Stormy Smith's writing style and how she introduces new characters and brings up all this character development with all of her characters. So I really did like this and I'm excited to see what Stormy Smith has in the future. Next I read The Baby by Abigail Barnett. This is the fifth book in the Sophie Scaife series and I picked this series up after reading the Fifty Shades trilogy because I needed something that was so much more than Fifty Shades offered me because I really didn't like it. So this was recommended to me. I picked it up. I shot through the books and when the fourth one ended and I had to kind of wait for the fifth book, I decided I wasn't going to continue on. I was pretty much satisfied with the first four books. But I am so glad that when I saw this book on my Nook app that I decided to purchase it because I read this book in seriously like two days. I could not put it down. It absorbed me into the story and it was so so much better than the first four books because it centers around so much more deeper 
conflicting content like death and suicide it just it tied so well with everything and like recovery that I just couldn't put it down and I enjoyed it so much that I'm so glad I picked it up as I gave it a four out of five stars Next, I read The Death Code by Lindsay Cummings, and I'm really kind of shocked that I picked this book up because with how the murder complex left me, I wasn't really interested in picking up its sequel for a while, but on a whim at the library, I saw it and I just snatched it, and then I read it, and I finished it in one day. I loved this book so much. It was still predictable like The Murder Complex, but in a much subtler way. I did not get everything, and the cheesy ending was so, like, how do I, how do I put it into words? I, I kind of wanted it to end before it got cheesy, but I was also really grateful for the cheesy ending, and I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So, I was kind of also bummed finding out that this is the last book and it's only a duology. I kind of want a third book, so if Lindsay Cummings hears this, please, please make a third book. Or at least a novella, because I just love... Meadow and Zephyr's characters so much that I don't want the story to end. The last book I finished was Alienated by Melissa Landers. And this book fulfilled all of my dreams of a YA sci-fi romance that the Lux series fell short for me on. And I don't want to compare it to Lux. I don't want to. But I couldn't stop myself from making comparisons because this book just was it for me. It was what I needed to kind of fulfill my alien human romance cravings. So I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Now I'm all done with my December wrap up so I'm going to quickly move on to my January TBR. And I am so excited for January because I'm going to be doing some collaborations with my friends. And I am going to try to squeeze in four books along with starting off this, my next semester of college. So we'll see how well I accomplish. But my first book finished. Frankenstein. I need to do it. I have only about 100 pages left. I'm going to be reading this right as soon as this video is posted because it's going to happen. I need to read it and finish it because it is so past my expectations of what Frankenstein's story actually meant to me that I am so grateful I decided to read this book. My next book is my first collaboration which is The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa and I briefly summarize this book in my big, huge, end-of-the-year book haul. It's basically a vampire story about a girl hates vampires, gets turned into one, and now has to try to find a vampire cure so she can become human again. And I'm going to be reading this with my friend Joey, and we are going to do a little collaboration and review, and we'll see how it goes. My next collaboration is Miss Pettigreen's School of Peculiar Children by Ransom Rakes. I am going to read this with my really good friend Michael and also our combined friend Michelle from No Stuck in a Book. I originally saw this book on booktube and I was blown away by the photography in this book. I mean, it's pretty miraculous and creepy and I just, I want to see where this book takes me. And last, but certainly not least, I have The Beautiful Miscellaneous by Dominic Smith. Now, as you all know, this book has been on my TBR list, especially my Goodreads TBR list, since September, I think. It's kind of 
a situation. I need to read this. I've been telling myself for months now that I'm going to read it. So it's going to happen. It is about a boy whose father is a genius, a physicist, and he is kind of a plain guy. He's ordinary. He doesn't have any real big genius quirks until he is in an accident and is landed in a coma when he wakes up. Everything, his perceptions, his thoughts, every, everything changes. And his father is determined to see what happened in the accident to actually change his, to alter his brain. And so he's forced to go into a savant neurological institute to be studied. This, I've owned this book for years and I am going to read it. It is going to happen. Those are all of the stories I plan on reading in January. Please let me know what you want to read, what you plan on reading. I want to know. If you have any recommendations for what you want me to read in the near future, leave a comment below and I will hear from you guys soon. Goodbye!